Des, Ken, congratulations on well, your phenomenal success with your collaboration with Apple, first well, of all. Thank you. I would, I would diminish some of that praise. And I wasn't quite as responsible as Steve Jobs was, and there were a lot of people who were a lot more responsible than I, but I was the marketing guy, and, and we had a great team of people, and we did some really fun, cool stuff. But we all remember the Think Different campaign. The ones who see things differently. So where did the inspiration for that come from? Well, we had a great team of people working on that. When Steve came back to Apple in 1997, the company was near death, and we would have no new computers to talk about for like at least six or eight months. And uh, the idea was tell people that Apple is alive and well. So, um, you know, when you tell someone who you admire, it says a lot about who you are. So that was the idea of the mm. campaign. We're going to tell the world who Apple admires. Um, Steve had taste. Uh, you may not always agree with him, but he was a man with sophisticated mm. taste. He liked art and design. Uh, and there's this great uh, video on YouTube. Uh, this is a pretty long time ago, but Steve was asked, um, what his opinion of Microsoft was. And he thought for a second and he said, you know, the problem with Microsoft is they don't have any taste. <laughs> and then he paused for a moment and he said, and I don't mean that in a little way, I mean that in a big way. <laughs> so, um, Just to get the point yeah, across. Yeah, and I think it was true because, again, in the marketing side of things, Microsoft has a long history of doing ads mm. that they think are funny, but they're not that funny. Mm. Someone needs to get up at some point and say, that's not no. good, you know? Mm. Um, so they run a lot of embarrassing things like that, whereas Apple, you know, fails mm. once in a while, but, but more times than not, it's a sophisticated, mm. successful message. Think Different became the line that launched Apple's rebirth. Steve was aware of every detail. I mean, literally every word, every image. Working with different companies, working with, you know, Intel, Dell, IBM, companies like that. You don't get that sense. I mean, you know, the, the top guy in one of those companies is not going to know about the, you know, the third paragraph of copy and the ad that's running in Newsweek that week. Steve did. One of the reasons why I thought the words were so perfect is I think you literally could have hung a sign that said Think Different in the garage when Wozniak and Jobs created their company. It would have been appropriate then, you know, as it is today. It is my pleasure to be here in uh, Wales for Digital 2013 for a couple of reasons. One, I love this place. I haven't been here in about 30 years. Um, that was the only time in my life. And then two, the reception, you know, the enthusiasm for the idea of simplicity has just been amazing. Really, really fun for me to, to go out and speak about it. It's funny you like to talk about it's a small world. Um, it really is. I, I've been surprised that the people I find in, in places I've never been feel just like people I know at home. There's really no difference other than the funny accent you have. Uh, <laughs> um, and you too, actually. <laughs> So is, is Steve Jobs, like, I'm really curious, of course, um, is, is he the craziest guy you ever met? <laughs> uh, in that sense? In a, in a good way? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, few people have the opportunity to work with someone like Steve and just to watch the way he did business meeting after meeting um, and to sort of navigate the waters because you never knew when he was going to explode. <laughs> and uh, it, it's just a... It was a challenge and it was fulfilling and all the things that a lot of normal advertising jobs are not. Well, I saw the genius side and the maniacal side. Thank you very much. I have some bruises from, uh, you know, from the, some of the uh, worst experiences. I always tell people I worked with him basically for 12 years and he only beat me up twice. So I think that's a pretty good record. <laughs> Did it really get physical? Uh, no, not, I mean, not oh, physically okay. beaten up. No. Uh, I might have been able to take him. He wasn't even that strong. <laughs> um, but no, he, you know, there, there, it was always about a detail, some bit of perfection that wasn't exactly right. With the launch of the original iMac, there was a piece we created. He, he sensed that the color blue wasn't exactly the...